Welcome back, everybody. In just two short seasons, Steph Curry has become one of the top guards in the NBA, but he always comes back to Charlotte in the offseason. Right, including right now. Couldn't make it here today because of an engagement, but talked with him a few days ago. He says there's no place like home. It's definitely just a nice time to just relax and get away from it all. And, you know, I was watching the playoffs and, and uh, you know, taking notes, and hopefully we get to that stage. Uh, but I'm definitely enjoying this, this time off, uh, you know, back home. What would you think about the playoffs and all the treatment LeBron's gotten? It's a lot of scrutiny, man. He's got the spotlight on it for sure. I think, you know, part of that is, you know, the whole hoopla that they created for themselves mm -hmm. last summer. But, uh, you know, they lived up to it up until the finals. Uh, I think that was a, you know, successful year for them to even get to that point. Um, didn't get it done, Dallas. You know, all those vets came through and finally got most of their first championship. So um, interesting to see how everything works out next year with how they, you know, pick up where they left off and learn from you know, the, the failures of the of the NBA Finals. But you know, LeBron did it did his thing until until the you know fourth quarter. All was that scrutiny about him struggling. So, but I guarantee you, every single player took notes and said, "Okay, this is what worked, but this is what did not work for LeBron." If I'm ever in this situation, I'm going to make sure not to make the mistakes that I perceive them having made. Yeah, I mean, they had like I said, there's a lot of spotlights and on them so you know it's tough to live up to those expectations and for LeBron you know the fourth quarter was one that a lot of people just didn't see him play the way he wanted or way he wanted to so it wasn't, he didn't score enough for them to you know stay in those games when things were going down and um, you know Dallas just out, outplayed him so uh, you know just hats off to them. The one bummer question I have to ask you are we gonna have basketball in the foreseeable future? What do you I, mean, think? I hope so. I think uh, I think we're learning our lesson from the NFL and how that lockout's going. Uh, I know we're working hard to try to get a deal done before July 1st. Uh, I'll be attending some of the meetings in New York next week to uh, hopefully you know sit in and give my input and see what you know. Hopefully everybody can get on the same page before July 1st. Steph, more power to you because those meetings would be the last place I'd want to be. <laughs> I mean, you know, can I think of anything more interesting like I don't know, sticking a giant nail in my toe or Man, something? No, I just want to. I just want to see you know what what the whole argument is, how far we are apart because you know it's a lot of money out there that you know, they're fighting over. But you know, at the end of the day, it's about the fans and and them seeing you know the sport that we love to play and and hopefully you know they they won't have to miss any of that. Here's what. I'd be afraid of, you know, if I was in your shoes, that I'd be um, checking it out and listening to everybody and having no clue what they're talking about. And then they come to me and say, Bruce, what do you think? And I'd be like, about what? Yeah, just like, <laughs> just like middle school. You just don't know the answer. Yeah. The teacher so, you know, points you out. Uh, hopefully that didn't happen. I'll sit in the back. I was going to say, or maybe you can start doodling on your uh, <laughs> car, you know, draw little faces or stars or houses or Pass whatever. Time, yeah. <laughs> hey, you and your dad have something big coming up uh, Monday. Yeah, we have a uh, huge golf tournament, right. our second annual Curry Classic, what mm -hmm. we're calling it. Um, all the proceeds are benefiting the Ada Jenkins Center, you know, uh, a program that's doing great things up in the Davidson area. So, um, you know, we have some, some great celebrities coming out, a pretty full roster. Also coming up this week, you and uh, your old college teammate from Davidson uh, have got a youth basketball camp and first of all before you tell me about that camp how strange is it being on the other side now where you're one of the teachers where you're one of the guys that all the kids look up to and are trying to get the instruction from is it it's crazy uh, yeah tell I me mean, about it it's, it's definitely crazy i mean i'm two years into the nba now um i've been to so many camps growing up that you know you you get in summertime you know yes what you expect you're going to learn and uh, from guys who have done it and, and now to come back and, and kind of give my knowledge to and my wisdom to some of the, you know, the up-and-coming high school stars. Um, I just take that, that opportunity and, and not take it for granted because those guys look up to me and uh, hopefully I can you know, add a little bit to their game that they can take home and, and uh, you know, kind of do the same thing I did going through the high school ranks and the college ranks. For people that want information on that, what's the web address? You can go to 413events.com uh, with my friend, my teammate, Bryant Barr, who's... Uh, yeah, we forgot. I, I'm sorry. I didn't it's, mention it's Bryant. He's, he's working hard for me. I mean, yeah, we're doing a, a good thing here. And is that numerals 413? Yeah, sorry. Uh, number four, the letter one, and then uh, the number three. All right. So it's 4 O N E. Three events events.com yes sir and you can find all the information about that um, this year it's it's a pretty elite high school uh, level tournament or camp that we're bringing uh, 40 of the the best high school guys from 
uh, the North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia area, nine college guys to kind of mentor them as they come up and should be a fun weekend. With the local team, the Bobcats, I was thinking, what would it be like if, just in a giant, you know, fantasy scenario, if you played for the Bobcats? And then I started thinking, would it actually be tougher, in theory, because you're way out west. Mm -hmm. I mean, the friends that you have out there are the friends that you've developed out there, as opposed to the, just the throng of people that you know from here. If you played over here, do you think the distractions would be a lot more intense? I would welcome it, actually. I mean, really? Uh, like, I, I've played at home all my life, so going out to the Bay Area was definitely an adjustment, not being around people, you know, my family and, and friends and people who have invested a lot in, in me uh, coming through the ranks. So it would be, you know, I'd be able to handle it pretty well, but I would definitely welcome, you know, that attention and, and uh, just people that supported me kind of having them close by so that when I when we are successful and we do great things that they can all enjoy it from a first-hand standpoint. I know a lot of Bobcat fans would welcome it as well. I know I know you're very happy where you're at in Golden sure, State. I'm not sure. trying to put any words <laughs> in your mouth. I'm just saying in a giant fantasy scenario, Bobcat fans would be like, whoo, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I remember all the times we had at Davidson and in Charlotte Christian where I was playing ball, so uh, I would kind of compare it to that on just a bigger stage that, uh, you know, if that happened down the road, but uh, like you said, Golden State's where I'm at. I hate talking about your personal life, but can I tell all the women that I'm sorry <laughs> he's he's off the market? Yeah, I'm getting married this summer, so uh, officially making that jump. Thank you very much. You got a great girl from Toronto, can, like your wife, can, or can, from Canada. Can, can we drag her on? She, she's very shy. I don't know. Do you, she's going no. She's no. going no. But uh, she, you'll see her around. She'll be at the camps and the tournaments, and you'll see pictures of her. She's a beautiful lady. Oh. Nice. I winked at her, too. <laughs> Are you sure she wasn't winking at me? <laughs> I don't know. I got to talk to her. Uh, winking at you. Yeah, maybe she had something in her eye. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. Uh. We'll be right back. <laughs>